well, you know, <clears throat> just been noise and stuff, and it felt like my, my building was shaking. So, did you hear it? Yeah. But guess what? It's next door. Next to their fence. It feels like my shit shaking. It sounds like it's coming from in here. But, um, he's been trying to send people here all day. Where's my daughter knocks on the door? And I know her knock. I know her knock. And sometimes it'll start off nice, then I'll bam, 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 bam. But, um, and then another time she'll try to just nice knock, thinking I'm going to think it's somebody else. But she wasn't here to come see me. She said she wanted to take me, get some breakfast. All this time, she hasn't came to see me. She didn't come specifically to see me. And I knew that. You know, you could hear her going talking to them yeah and then you can hear this guy which you know they hear everything I do on the phone they see everything I do on the phone <clears throat> tell her to go knock again you know she's talking to them um then he's trying to get people to come over here and knock and you know what's a commodity around here you know they all point fingers at me and shit but hey like Rekka Rekka said <laughs> you can park in front of a fire hydrant without getting a ticket. Not me. You get me? So, everybody around here knows when to do things and when not to do things. And when they could sit there and point the finger at me. But, I'm just trying to live my life. That's it. And this shit gets in the way. I've still been getting shocked today. And he hasn't even done it. He's still shocked from the last time. Still shocking me from the last time and almost falling. Yeah. You know. And these people don't think. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to say it. Ali, 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 Ali. Don't want it out there. Mm. Mm. Next time, I told my daughter, you know, when you get a chance, you think you could pick me up a few groceries. And her girlfriend says, well, I got $50 in food stamps. You know, your mom can have it. Didn't happen. And then she said she'd come on a certain day and pick me up, you know, and um, take me get food, you know, and blah, 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 blah. Didn't happen. She fucked up because she said, oh, you get paid on the third. I don't have an income. She said, oh, oh, well, if I get paid, you get paid. Really? Didn't happen. But she fucked up saying that because now I know. I know. And I'm not just going to sit around on my ass and not pursue it because it's mine. And I've been knowing it's been being taken away. Um, I was on food stamps for like three months. Um, got a letter saying that, got a letter saying that, <clears throat> that I'm not, uh, what do you call it? Accessing my cash part of it. Um, the person that applied for food stamps for me, they never fucking applied for cash benefits. Okay? And... They said how much I had in there, and, and you know, I think it was 180 days I had, you know. But can I access it? No. Is it on my card? 
No. Um, then a couple months later, I get cut off the food. No, not a couple months later. I get cut off food stamps. Okay. So I've been checking my status or whatever. And it's fucking weird. It said I had $30 in food stamps left on there. Go to the store. Zero. And that's been happening. So somebody has a way to access my food stamps. Um, probably applied for cash benefits for me because they know all my information. And they've probably been getting that too. So I'm going to get down to the bottom of it. Also, I got a letter from Social Security saying that they overpaid me and I need to pay them. No. Nobody ever overpaid me. And I haven't been on Social Security for... <laughs> A year and a half. Yeah. So, get that one. Um, then the IRS wrote me a letter. Them, they're my first fucking go-to, is the IRS. They're my first go-to um, because the stimulus check. And if I owe taxes, which I fucking don't, um, somebody's owing taxes in my name and it's... Because they identity theft me or whatever. You get me? Never apply for EBT benefits. Um, and apparently, other shit, you know, you can have it transferred off the card to another card or a cash app. And there'll be no sign of it for me. So, yeah. Am I going to pursue this? Yes, I definitely, I thought today was Saturday. I definitely need to get up off my ass, and I am going to take care of business. Because, um, somebody's throwing mud on my name. And I'm going to clean that up. And you know what? It's grand theft. Because it's, it's more than $1,000. So, whoever, whatever... <laughs> They're definitely going to pick that up and charge that person theirself. So, I bid thee fair thee well because they must be somebody that's really close to me. And I have no type of feelings towards it because they did it to themselves. Uh, and the only type of feeling I have is that's a low-life motherfucking thing to do. I never have stole anybody's identity. I don't steal from people because they work hard for their money. They hustle hard for their money. Um, they save it up or somebody helps them. You know, you don't steal from people. A thief is a fucking low life. There's a, yes, I did arm robberies. There's a big fucking difference. You know, you wouldn't get nothing now if you, if you did those. You know, maybe a hundred or two bucks because they put everything in the cash register. But, <laughs> I'm not a low life. You know what? You go up to a cash register with a gun, and the insurance gives them the money back. You're not hurting anybody. You're not taking out of anybody's pockets, because they pay insurance every month. I don't steal from people. A thief is a low life. I don't fraud. Yeah. That's like one of the lowest forms of life. A thief, a bully, and a big fat fucking liar. You know, somebody that can just look you in the eyes and lie. Like nothing. You know, there's something wrong with that person's character when they can do that. And a lot of times it's nature. Most of the times it's nature. Because it sure the fuck isn't nurture. You get me? <laughs> if you've ever tried nature against nurture, nurturing loses. And it sucks. Yeah, once in a while, 
once in a while, it'll win out. Like in my case, I had to get me here. God had to get me here, where I am as a person. Do you get me? But I've always had great faith. Even if I didn't show it or talk about it, I've always had great faith. I just have even more great faith now. And nothing, nothing stays secret. You know, things might come out 50, 50 years from now. And people always want to jump on things that are bad. Anybody says something, even if it's a lie, they jump on it. And more people add to it. Really? Really? Yeah. It's, people really suck. They do. They suck big dick. There's a, <laughs> I think I'm the only one that doesn't suck big dick around here lately. You know that? Seriously. I say to myself, I'm a good person. You know, I was a good person before God changed me, but it was different. You know, I didn't welcome this change, but you can't fight God. You know, you can't fight what he's going to do. You know, sooner or later, yeah, you might take a different road and fucking try to ditch it, but sooner or later, you're exactly where he wants you to be. Whether it be um, <laughs> paying for the things you've done, maybe not in the same way or for the same thing, but believe me, yeah, believe me, I've lived a life and... You know, things have happened, and I know what you put out into the world, you get back, even if it's old. But um, karma didn't quite work the way me and most people think. I had to research it. Yeah, it works a little bit differently than I thought. But, um, in the, over the, through the overall scheme of things, God, 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 your creator, <laughs> you don't think he controls your life, then you're a stupid motherfucker. Yeah, these gang stalkers and stuff might have control and shit like that, but God's letting them have control. He's allowing them to do this stuff. They will pay for it. You know, I'm not God. But, you know, it will come. It'll meet in the middle. And everything will work itself out. Whether I'm alive at the time, it doesn't matter. Because I know that I didn't run. I didn't run. I did not run. And I wasn't a coward. And I didn't hide. And I face this full on. You know, whether I be screaming and crying at night because of the fucking pain they give me or not, I still didn't run. And the gang stalkers that, you know, that I'm their target, they, they hide. Do you see them out here doing it fucking right in front of my face? No. See them knocking my door? At the beginning and tell me, hey, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck what you stand for. I don't like you. We're all going to fucking, you know. No, never. Not once. And I've asked some of them face to face. And they looked in my eyes and lied. So, you know, it's not like they didn't have a chance not to be a coward. And to do it the gangster way. The man way. The, the way that you're supposed to do it. You know, now I'm fucked up. I mean, I was disabled before, but now I'm permanently fucked up and disabled. Every fucking day. Every day. Everything I do, I'm reminded I'm disabled. And then on top of them, fucking, with the no-touch torture, fucking... The, the satellite terrorism, the fucking domestic terrorism and shit, and fucking me up really bad every fucking day practically with their broadcast and the radiation that comes from the broadcast. Yeah, 
but I'm still not fucking running. And they're still hiding. And they're still... Yeah. So I guess this is the new era. This is the new world order. These are the ways, the new ways. I'm fine. I'm fine. Because you know what? I'd rather be a target than a part of the motherfucking crowd with a grip of money, earning money by selling out humanity. Because that's one thing I'm not. I'm not a snitch fucking telling people's other fucking data and fucking spying on people. Never a snitch. I'm not a coward. Not a liar. And I'm not a fucking thief. Gang suckers are that and a lot more. This shit is so fucking anti-American. You know, I'm surrounded by a bunch of fucking terrorists. This is anti-fucking American. I have a right to privacy. I have a right to freedom. You know, I even got tenants' rights. But you know what? Like, um, like that girl Gangstock in, in San Pedro said, yeah, they act like you don't have no rights in San Pedro. But technically, I do. If my window is covered up and my door is locked, even though they fucking um, surveil me and the manager fucking uh, is uh, in on this crap and fucking, oh, yeah, and, and the fucking, um, they come in here when I'm not here. I've seen fucking footprints, big-ass man footprints, you know. <laughs> I have pictures of years ago, big-ass man footprints going into my place. Yeah, you know, they don't, they don't fix anything. But um, you'll see something new like, you know, covering the wall, whatever they fucking opened the wall for and fucking covered it, you know. You can always tell because, come on, I've lived here 16 fucking years, you know. But I get it late, you know why? I don't notice it till late a lot of times, you know why? Because they keep me in the fucking dark. I had 20-20 vision. When I came here, and the lights keep getting lower and lower and lower, and I can't fucking see, even if I'm out there in the light with a fucking little thing, I can't fucking see. So they keep me in the fucking dark. So um, sometimes it's a long time till I notice these things, you know? And they like it that way. They torture me and they take everything from me. My eyesight, my hair, my fucking teeth, my health. <laughs> you think I did all this crap in the fucking, in this apartment? Hell fuck no. They started off with the holes in the wall and fucking moving shit around. And This ain't even spackle. This ain't spackle. You see this? It's not spackle and it's not covering a hole. That's some kind of rubber texture shit. Yeah. Tried scrubbing it away and got rid of it before. They just fucking put it up there more. Yeah. And there's holes in the wall, you know. And I remember exactly what holes, when I had furniture and shit, I remember exactly what holes I put in here. You know. Hey, I can't even reach up there. Come on. You know, there's little fucking holes up there. Little holes up there. These are just the ones that you can spot just by the eyeball and shit. You gotta be real close. And there ain't no fucking light in here. You get me? There ain't no fucking air in here either. You know, I've died in this place because of the lack of air. And they put me in a medical coma. Yeah. Those records could be dug up too. Because I don't keep shit here. I copy shit. Or I make a screenshot or fucking... Blah, 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 send it when I'm not around them. Sometimes I do it when I am around them. And then I erase it on the fucking, delete it on the fucking, yeah. And plus I still have paper photos. Not over here, but I have paper photos. I have paper photos of every place that I've lived. And plus I still have the rental agreements. Yeah. The rental agreements from... 
and plus somebody else has copies of them because the rental agreements throughout since you were, they get all torn up and shit like that. Kind of like receipts. That's why I take pictures of my receipts because, do you know, if you leave receipts in your wallet and shit, you open it pretty soon and it's a blank paper. <laughs> yeah. But, um. Ali, Ali, Ali. I'm not going to go there. I was taking it out of my head, so it's not there. Ah, 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 Ali. <sighs> Peace out. You know what? Like Steve Grant said, we have to survive this. And if we don't, that's okay. Because I know I'm not going to survive this, but I've survived it long enough to make a difference. You get me? And there's instructions for after I die. There's instructions. <laughs> you know, you think you can trust the people that you, that you trusted your whole life. You're better off trusting a total stranger. A complete stranger. Somebody you've never met personally. <laughs> Peace out.